Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw words with the short vowel O. I'm going to put a dot right there in the center and I'm going to draw a curve line, 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 connect. So I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to write the word short and then I'm going to write the letters O. And this little curve line is the symbol we use to show that that letter is a short vowel. I come right above and I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, and connect. Come on the left hand side, draw a straight line down. Come on the right hand side, draw a straight line down. Come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line and connect. Come all the way up to this point and let's draw a straight line out straight line down, straight line in, connect. And I want to put something inside so I'm just going to draw a spiral. And it's cooking so I'm going to put wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Because this is a pot. P-O-T, ah, pot. And there is the symbol we use for a short vowel O. I come down below and I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle and now I'm going to mimic that circle and draw it again. I come inside and I'm going to write 12 and straight down I'm going to write 6 then I'm going to write 3 and then I'm going to write 9. I'm going to put one, two little straight lines in between. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now I put straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line down. Little straight line, straight diagonal, straight di diagonal over to the number three. Because this is a clock. And right here is our short vowel O. I come down over here, put a dot, and we're going to draw a straight diagonal down, come back to the dot, little curve line on top, straight diagonal down, leave it floating. We're going to draw one, two little curve lines, connect little curve line, but now we're going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and connect. And right over here we're just going to draw a wavy line out and a wavy line back in, connect. Because this is a mop. Mop. Ah. And there's our short vowel O. I come over here on the left and I put a dot and I'm just going to draw a wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up and connect. I'm just going to put some wavy lines inside, doesn't matter how, because this is a rock. Ah, And there is our short vowel O. I come all the way up here on the left, put a dot. I'm going to draw a straight line across, straight diagonal down, straight line down, straight diagonal in, straight line across. Come back over to our dot, straight diagonal down, straight line down, straight diagonal in, and connect. Now I'm going to draw that again all the way around and inside I'm going to write stop. 
I'm going to put a straight line down, little curve line, straight line up. This is a stop sign. S T O P and right here is our short vowel O. I'm going to finish off my edges with my dotted line and that's because I might want to post this as a chart or use this as part of a book. So we're going to use that dotted line to finish off our edges all four ways. Okay? Now, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, first I'm going to take my red and I'm just going to color this section or this space of my stop sign all the way around and I'm going to color the handle. I'm going to make that red also. Okay? Next, I'm going to put some green wavy lines next to my black wavy lines for my pot. pot, pot. I'm going to put the inside with some light green, yellow green and then if I have, if you have gray, I'm going to color in my pot gray. If you don't have gray, you really could kind of color it in any color you wanted. Nowadays we see pots in all different colors. But I used gray. Then I take my blue and I'm going to color the rim around my clock. Oc, clock. You could also do this any color you want. Next, I took my brown for my mop and I'm going to color the handle brown. I'm going to color my little holder down here. I'm going to do this red. I'm going to leave the mop white but I'm going to color my goo or my cleaning fluid or my whatever down here at the bottom. I'm going to make that pink just for a pop of color. It could be any color also that you choose. Then last for my rock ock, I'm going to take brown and I'm going to double color. I'm going to lightly color my rock brown. Then I'm going to go over it again lightly with black. Not too dark, just enough to give it that two-tone rock color. Okay, this was pretty easy. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my short vowel O words all colored in. Stop, op, pot, ot, clop, ot, mop, op and rock up or stop hot clock mop rock okay bye bye